If you've been to Tokyo before, I bet you've seen this drumming game in the arcades of Akihabara that the Japanese seemingly love to play. This is called as Taiko no Tatsujin. Back when I revisited Japan in November, the Niigata Tourism Board invited me to learn more about these taiko drums, which are basically Japan's traditional percussion instruments. They then took me to Sado Island, which is home of the Kodo Group, one of the most popular taiko groups not only in Japan, but worldwide as well. It was here in Sado Island Taiko Center that I had the pleasure to meet Shinichi Sogo or Shinchan Sensei. He was a 10 year veteran member of Kodo, and that day he offered to give me a private beginner lesson for Taiko drumming. But first, he played these powerful Taiko solos for me. might not have given it justice, but the deep echoes coming from the taiko drums gave me goosebumps, so how much more if there were a group of them performing? For sure, it will get really intense. And as what you would have noticed by now, taiko performances have a unique playing style. Not only because they're played fast and hard, but also because they're like 50% music and 50% dance, with choreographed movements that are said to be akin to Japanese martial arts. So after I had my fun with the taiko drums for a few minutes, Shinchan Sensei taught me how to properly play the taiko drums. First of all, he told me that I simply needed to relax and to stand straight with my feet apart, holding my bachi or stick straight. Whenever I try to produce a sound, I have to let both the weight of my bachi and my arm to fall down on the taiko. And that's it! Unlike typical drum playing, he told me not to force the sticks down. Instead, I have to let gravity do the work. By the end of it all, I bet that if my arms could talk, they would be complaining at how I've been skipping arm day at the gym. Obviously, to be able to perform taiko well, you would really need to have the muscle and the stamina to do so. Shinchan Sensei told me that in Kodo, they have very intense training and practices, since they are taught to attack their drums with their entire bodies. Nevertheless, learning and doing taiko drumming was so much fun. That being said, you can also try this enjoyable experience since the center has various beginner programs offered for individuals, families, friends, or groups, and it will only cost you 2,000 yen or $18 per person. To know how to get to this place at Sado Island, you can read my blog post guide for this, and the link can be found at the video description below. All in all, I absolutely assure you that you would love this experience as much as I did.